So when you're importing assets into Unreal Engine, sometimes you can get assets where the pivot point or the point that you use to move the objects around isn't actually on the object, which can be really frustrating. In this video, we're going to solve that problem. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So yesterday we made a video where we imported these mega scans assets into your 3D viewport. However, the problem with some of these mega scans assets is if you bring them in, Notice how when I drag this in, the object isn't actually on my mouse, right? So when I drink, bring this in and I try to place it, it's really hard to place because my object pivot point is actually like way low on the ground right here, which makes this really problematic to try to move around because it's way down here. So there's a few different ways that we can fix this. So first off, what you can do is you can hold Alt and click and drag the middle mouse button in order to move your pivot point around. So that's gonna be one way to do this. And notice how it does make this a lot easier and get this a lot closer, like this. However, there's a few different things that are wrong with that. So the first is this isn't permanent, right? So if I click off of the screen, for example, or off of the object, and then I click back on it, notice how the pivot point is still back down here. Now what you can do is you can adjust that pivot point by doing an Alt, middle mouse drag, like this, and then you can right click and go down to the option for pivot and click on the option for set as pivot offset. What that's gonna do is that's gonna save the pivot offset for the object that's actually inside of your view like this. So now that pivot object is saved and so you don't have to worry about clicking off and losing that. So now notice I didn't do a very good job of placing that, but it is saved. And if you were to adjust that again, so let's say I was to try to fix this, move it over, up, over, there's probably an easier way to do this, but that's okay. But we could just right click on this and click on pivot, set as pivot offset again, in order to set that really quickly. So that is definitely one option for a way to do this. Another way to do this is, let's say that we were to drag another piece of racking in like this and try to place it. So we're gonna get it kind of close. What you can do as well is you can go up to your object, right click on a point, like this, and then there's an option here for pivot, set pivot offset here. So what that means is that means wherever you right clicked in your 3D space, it's gonna set your pivot offset to that location. That's an excellent option because what it does is it allows you to really quickly, um, it allows you to really quickly set that pivot point. And notice how, however, we do need to make sure when we do that, so when we right click, put pivot, set or set pivot offset here you do need to make sure that you right click again and click on the option for set as pivot offset otherwise you're going to lose that offset so there is another option in here where if you right click and go to pivot there's an option for center on selection but that doesn't necessarily always give you the result that you want so in this case for example that one's not really going to work for me so um there's that option and then the problem that you might notice though is even though we reset the pivot offset on like this for example notice how even though we've reset that offset it hasn't been changed for the actual imported object so notice how if i bring in another one of these the pivot is still way off of the object so what we want to do is we actually want to change that pivot point in our setting so, so I'm gonna bring in another object for us to kind of practice this on. So I'm gonna bring in the wooden cable reel from Megascans as well. So I'm just gonna export that to Unreal Engine. That's going to add this right here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and say yes to all. And that's gonna bring in a folder for a wooden cable reel. We're gonna ignore this and we're gonna go ahead and bring that cable reel in. And so if I bring that cable reel in, notice how this one is actually set up fairly well. So the pivot point is actually set right in the middle of the object. But the problem with that is if I want this to be like laying down or anything like that, I have to like move it around, rotate it, mess around with it. Well, what we wanna do instead is we actually wanna change the object inside of our library. So I'm just gonna double click in here and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this object. So notice how when we do that, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow us to edit the actual object inside or the asset that's contained inside of our asset editor. Well, what we wanna do is we wanna click on the option for show pivot. 
So notice how we can now see where the pivot is. And notice how we don't have any of the options that we had before where we can like right click and set our pivot or anything like that. Um, that's not gonna work in this screen. What we need to do instead is we need to go over into our details for our object and we need to adjust the import settings for our object. So basically what we want is when this object gets imported, we can adjust where that pivot point is by adjusting the import translation and import rotation. So. Let's say, for example, that I wanted this to more like stand up, so sit on its end. What I can do is I can adjust the Z rotation right here and hit the Enter key. Well, notice how that's not adjusting in our viewport. What we need to do is we need to click on the option for re-import base mesh. So notice how when we did this, though, we have a little bit of an issue. And the issue is because this is bringing in LODs like this, notice how when I zoom in, the LOD version isn't getting that change applied to it. Only the other version is getting the change applied to it. So what we have to do about that is instead of clicking the option for re-import base mesh, we want to click on the option for re-import base mesh and LODs. So when I do that, now it's gonna re-import everything. So notice how my LOD model also changed its rotation. So we've rotated this 90 degrees on the Z axis, but what we really want is to rotate it on the X axis. So I'm going to adjust this. And I'm gonna re-import my base mesh and LODs again. I wish there was a way to do this with a little less trial and error, but I haven't found it yet. So now our object is getting imported with a 90 degree X axis rotation applied to it. So that makes this a little bit easier, but if we were to jump back into Unreal Engine and drag this in again, notice how it's still placing this below the ground, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna adjust that pivot point so when I bring the object in, it's actually at the bottom of this object. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the uh, I think it's the Y translation. I'm gonna type in a value of negative 25 or maybe positive 25. And then we're just gonna re-import this base mesh and LODs again. And notice what that's gonna do is that's going to move the pivot point. So we didn't wanna change this on the Y axis at all. We wanna change it maybe on the X axis. So I'm gonna type in another value. And we just have to try this until we get that pivot point kind of where we want it to be. It is almost always going to be faster to just change this in your modeling software if you model these yourself. I didn't, so we just kind of have to play around with this a little bit, but there we go. So what that did is that brings our pivot point down a little bit so that it's slightly under our object. So now we've changed the pivot point for the object that we're importing. Well, all I'm gonna do now is click on the button for save. Well, now if I go back into my scene right here, notice how all of the all of these objects have moved around because they're all linked back to this object inside of our asset library. So um, just be aware of that if you've placed a bunch of objects and then you start messing around with these, it's going to mess them up. But now if I click and drag this in, notice how my pivot point is right on the bottom of my object and I can just place these on a surface, no problem. All right, so leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions, if this worked for you, if it didn't work for you. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.